Unlock the mystery. Using modals in zero conditional sentences. Hello language learners. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're venturing into the world of zero conditional sentences. We'll be adding a twist by incorporating modals. Ready to unlock the mystery of using modals in zero conditional sentences? Let's get started. Before we dive into the deep end, let's remind ourselves what zero conditional sentences are all about. Zero conditional sentences express general truths or habits. They describe what generally happens in response to a specific situation. In zero conditional sentences, both the condition and the result are presented as facts. They follow the pattern. If, when plus present simple tense, present simple tense. For example, if it rains, the grass gets wet. When I have free time, I read a book. Now that we've brushed up on zero conditional, let's turn our attention to modals. Modals are auxiliary verbs that express necessity, possibility, permission, or ability. The common modals are can, could, may, might, must, shall, should, will, would. Here's an example of modals used in a sentence. You must stop at the red light. I can swim. Here comes the most exciting part of this lesson. Merging zero conditional sentences with modals. When we use modals in zero conditional sentences, we're often expressing a stronger degree of certainty, obligation, or permission in the result. Let's explore some examples. If you can't beat them, join them. When you must go, you go. Note that the if clause still describes a general condition or situation in the present, but the modal in the result clause adds a different flavor of meaning to the sentence. Now that we've covered the theory, it's time to put our knowledge into practice. Remember, practice is key in mastering any language. Try creating your own zero conditional sentences using modals and see how it transforms your English conversations. And that's a wrap, folks. You've successfully learned how to use modals in zero conditional sentences, a skill that will add depth to your English communication. Keep practicing, keep exploring, and remember, language learning is a journey, not a destination. Thanks for tuning in and see you in our next lesson.